All right, so it's been a while since we've done one of these walkthroughs, but I um, wanted to give you an idea of how some of our sites are put together. So we've got this website that we did for one of our favorite restaurants in downtown Mobile, Vaughn's Bistro. And as you can see, there's a lot of information on the homepage, whether it's information about Vaughn, about the Bistro. Um, we have you know these uh, images here for lunch, brunch, and dinner. We have a map. Um, we also have a uh, contact form and stuff like that. All of this is driven by um, Craft, which is a CMS that uh, we started using, I don't know, probably about six months or a year ago. Um, if, um, if I was to give you one little tip about uh, restaurant websites, it would be, uh, it used to be that people would just throw a PDF up there of the menu. It's extremely important nowadays that you do a uh, an HTML version of the menu and make it easy for people to update prices and change um, the descriptions and stuff like that. The reason being is because this actually gets crawled by Google. And um, the other reason why is because the last thing anyone wants to do on a cell phone over a data connection is download some 10 megabyte you know file and then pinch and zoom uh, you know to try and find the item that they're looking for this will naturally um, will naturally resize to display uh, in such a way that you know works on smaller resolution screens um, so anyway but so this is um, this is craft so if I actually if I log in the dot and dashboard um, looks uh, like this not a whole lot to see but you do get uh, recent entries and you can add additional stuff to the dashboard on more complex sites this one is not terribly complex so if you look these are all of the entries and then you have this uh, concept of single entries so if I have uh, pages that really just have need for one um, one entry so for instance the home page so we've got you know the headline for um, about Vaughn and then a little bio information in her image and then about the restaurant um, some content and uh, this is allowing us to do the two column grid and then a background image for that section so um, so I mean you know fairly simple stuff uh, the contact information is stored in here so we can put a street address phone number email address um, you know Instagram Facebook all that stuff and then when somebody submits um, submits the form they get this thank you will be in touch right and also taking care that they can edit uh, things like uh, the title tag for the page which is what appears in the browser Chrome when you hover over it um, as well as the meta description which is what appears when somebody does a Google search and uh, the website uh, shows up as a result so but just going back to entries the the kind of cool thing here is for the um, for you know something like lunch or dinner or the specials um, we have this structured um, structured entries section so if I go into lunch you'll see that really all we have is an image this is the image that's used on that home page as well as on the menu page where we're displaying the different um, menus um, if I go back here and I actually click on say appetizers you'll see that they have the ability to put in the name of the appetizer a description for it and then a price and that we handle all of the formatting of that information on the front end um, so we keep it you know quite simple uh, but let me show you one other so you kind of just get a feel for this let's see like Asian cuisine because that's what I love so much about her food um, you know description you know actual title of the entry um, the other nice thing too is if I want to I can actually reorder these kind of on the fly um, I can add an additional item just by clicking plus on the item entering in a name description and price and as soon as I click on save that would go um, live so as you can see I mean it, this is super simple for um, for non-technical folks to update there's no fighting with some HTML editor this is what we call create once publish everywhere so if I 
put this content in here with this um, format, then I can use this information. So for instance, the contact information, you know, the, the phone number and street address, you know, that gets used in a number of different ways. So we've got it here in this section up on the homepage. Um, you know, I don't know if this is being pulled in as well. This may actually be in the content, but you know, it gets used in, in different places on some sites. Um, you know, it's, uh, it just makes things easier. The other thing too is, um, those specials that you saw on the, the, uh, on the homepage, actually, where were those, the specials? There we go. Um, yeah, on the homepage. So at the top here, the homemade lasagna, Asian Thai chicken thighs, which by the way, the Thai chicken thighs are just absolutely ridiculous. Um, but if you go to menus and you go to the specials, you'll see that um, those are displayed here. And we've, um, we've created the site in such a way that they actually enter all of these in, and then we just cycle through those. Now they can update them as they need to, but they don't have to actually go in and change that every day. It just knows that um, tomorrow the Boston butt pot roast and the shrimp and pork belly ramen noodle bowl are going to be the items that are the specials and it'll display those appropriately on the home page so makes it quite easy for them to manage and um, and I think it turned out really well they've they've uh, they've been quite you know happy with the way that this uh, has turned out so anyway I hope this is helpful uh, we're going to do more of these um, if you uh, if you care to follow along and want to see um, more of these kinds of walkthroughs, then make sure to uh, like our Facebook page or subscribe to our YouTube channel and, um, and we'll be posting more. So, and if you have any questions or anything, just uh, send an email to hi, that's H I at bluefishds.com. Thanks.